So I've got the uh, got the bottom panel in place. Um, got to make the top lid support, and then just cut some panels to fit, and they're just going to sit inside here, and it's going to give the false impression of a floating panel. Um, one thing I wanted to change, though, uh, on the plans, the base down here is is going to be mitered. Um, I'm not a big fan of miters. Uh, I really wanted to to try to do this on a miter because every other of my uh, or every other one of my blanket chests that I've made was just simple butt joint construction. Um, I really like that look, to be honest with you. I just like the the end grain exposed on the, uh, let's see, exposed on the short side, rather. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to hit the easy button on this one. I honestly think it looks better myself anyway. Um, and also up here on the lid, it was going to be mitered, but I don't know. I think I might do the same thing up here. I just really like that, that, uh, that butt joint look. I don't know, especially when you chamfer the end grain with it. It just, when you stain it, it just, it, it obviously it darkens because it's end grain. But to me, it, it just looks better. Um, you know, here's a couple pictures of some that I've done previously. And you can see the end grain just a little bit darker here. And then here is the base I was talking about. But anyway, that... That's the style I'm going to go with. The plans say mitered corners, but maybe next time. That's what I said before this one, but maybe next time. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and uh, recut these these panels pieces for the uh, lid support. Got to get done. Got to get it done, and then uh, work on the base. And then I've already got my top glued up, ready to go, uh, ready to start working on. So I'll, I'll maybe start on that tonight. But I'm um, getting close to calling it a night, so here's the progress so far. Alright, I was able to get a little bit more done real quick. Um, I made the butt joint top uh, lid support, cut the panels. I'm still waiting on the base, what I need to do with it. Uh, I contacted the person I'm making this for, and uh, she's still undecided on whether or not to put wheels on the bottom. So, I don't know if I can reuse what I had cut or if i got to make it thicker for the wheels. So, we're waiting on that. Um, I cut the panels, set them in place. Uh, really all it is, they're just sitting in there on the inside. As you can see, uh, two side panels in first, then the, uh, the front and back in second. What I'm going to do in the meantime while I wait on this is I'm going to uh, take the panels out, sand both sides of the panels real good, sand the rest of the box real good. Uh, the entire inside panels and base is going to be painted white and uh, get a coat of lacquer on top of it. The outside is going to have a a uh, rather dark stain for it, um, and I've got the entire lid uh, glued up with two and a half inch strips to make a panel for the lid. I've got to get it out of the clamps, uh, take the glue drips off, and plane it down real smooth. But got a little bit more to go. But anywho, this is the panels. Uh, the front, front, and back panels are 18 tall and uh, I believe 30 inches wide. Um, the side panels, uh, 16 and a half wide, 18 tall. They go in first and then the front and back kind of hold them in place. And uh, you know, they're just gonna get glued and brad nailed in from the inside. But you know, it'll give you the appearance of a floating panel in there once all this is all pushed up nice and neat. Um, when you're cutting out your panels, be sure to cut it so that the grain is vertical on all pieces. Uh, I used, uh, I think, 48 inches uh, out of a piece of quarter inch ply 
for all three of these panels. So uh, three strips at 18 inches. Actually, that's a little bit more than 50. But three strips, 18 inches. Uh, front and back is one strip. Then cut the third strip in half for your two sides. But coming together a little bit good. And uh, just waiting on a reply to this. All right, here's the panel. Uh, I glued it up with two and a half inch strips so that it matched the same size as the as the rest of the uh, skeleton on the blanket chest. <coughs> um, had a lot of glue squeeze out. That's that's good. That tells me all my joints are uh, not glue starved, so should last. Um, I clamped two coals across it on either side when I did the glue up to keep them all the same height. And they are where the coals are. Where right here in the middle, I've got a couple high spots. Pretty good, almost. Uh, that's about three thirty seconds of an inch. But this stuff's some soft pine. Nothing. Uh, nothing a bench plane won't take care of. So I'm gonna get going on this. Take a little while and uh, start painting the inside of the panels, and we'll be good to go for a little bit. Thank you.